Hi, this is David at Mash IT, and today we're going to show you just how easy it is to install a new SSD in your X1 Carbon Gen 9 and save yourself plenty of money rather than paying it to Lenovo to configure a higher drive when you're buying the laptop. Now all you're going to need for this project is a Phillips screwdriver, an 8GB flash drive and your choice of SSD. Now I'm using the Western Digital SM550 Blue 1TB M.2 NVMe SSD. Now the reason I've chosen this drive is because it's incredible value at about £75 on Amazon in the UK, yet offers 5 years warranty and pretty good read and writes. They're not the best in the industry, but they'd be more than good enough for the average person. Now before you start taking your laptop apart, make sure you create your Windows or Linux media onto your flash drive. Uh, we'll put the links down below uh, with instructions on how you can do that. Now then, turn your laptop over. I always put it on something soft so I don't damage the top of the laptop. Get your Phillips screwdriver, unscrew all the Phillips screws at the bottom of the laptop. These screws are captive, so you'll sort of feel a bit of a pop when they've come away. And once you've done all of the screws, you place your fingers, I usually put it in the top of the vent area, and just very gently lift it up. They pop out very easily, don't use any excessive force. If you feel any sort of bending, it's because you haven't undone the screw properly. Now that we're inside the laptop, you can see the actual copper plate for the SSD. There's two screws holding this copper plate in place. So undo the screws carefully and lift them away from the laptop. Put them safe to the side because you will need them later on to put it back together. Now gently lift the copper plate off. There is a uh, thermal tape underneath. So leave that in place because we will put that back onto our new SSD. And then you can lift and pull the SSD out from the laptop. Underneath the SSD there's also another thermal pad. I would remove that and place that on your new SSD. Just peel it off very carefully and then you can reuse it on your new SSD. Saves you buying a new one. Now carefully slide the SSD back into the actual M.2 slot at a very slight angle. When you feel it sort of pop in, you then sort of lower it and push it just to the other side of the screw hole and you'll feel the actual SSD will slot into place. We then take our copper plate, place it back over the top of the SSD. You can see the screw holes will line up. Now that thermal pad will stick back on the SSD. Then we take our two Phillips screws and screw the copper plate down onto the SSD and that is our SSD installed. Now all we need to do is to put our lid back into place. You'll see there's some locator tabs at the bottom of the lid sort of facing us. I'm gonna just put there a slight angle to locate it into the actual front of the laptop. And you'll sort of you'll feel it when it's in place. And then we can just gently press down on the base, screw our Phillips screws back up. Once you've screwed all the screws up, just give it a little pr firm press all the way around the laptop, make sure all the clips have just sort of clicked back in. And that is it, your SSD is now installed. All we need to do now is reinstall whatever operating system you choose. Now I'm just gonna quickly put in a Windows uh, flash drive here. I'm gonna hit the power button. Now because there's nothing on this SSD, it should automatically boot from the uh, flash drive. If for any reason that it doesn't, on boot hit the enter key which will either give you the option to go into BIOS or choose your boot drive, you'd select your USB flash disk. Now because we're using a Windows 10 install flash drive with the latest version of Windows 10 from Microsoft website, this does include uh, Wi-Fi drivers for this X1 Carbon Gen 9. So once we followed the prompts and installed the operating system on this SSD and got into Windows, we can then straight away download the latest Windows updates, which include a lot of the drivers for this laptop. For the remaining drivers, you just need to go to Lenovo's support site, download Vantage, and also then run an update to get the last of the drivers. Really quite straightforward. And I'll put the link in the description below to take you straight to the support site. Now the last thing to remember is if you're installing Windows 10 and you bought it with a version of Home or Pro, make sure you install that version when you're installing Windows 10 and it will automatically activate the license for you. Hopefully this uh, video has been useful. If you've got any questions, pop it in the comment section down below and I will answer you. And lastly, thank you for watching.